Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the wonderful, fabulous, talented Gabriel Henrique. This time, I'm going to be reacting to him singing Mariah Carey. Now that I have reacted to him singing Run To You by Whitney Houston and know now that he can whistle, thanks for telling me, <laughs> I, I know that there's not any whistles in my all. But it's a Mariah Carey song, so you never know when people cover Mariah Carey songs. Even if there's not a whistle, sometimes people just throw them in there for good measure. So I'm wondering if he's going to do that with this song. Um, I love this song. It's on my favorite Mariah Carey album, which is Butterfly, which was released in 1997. It is track three. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but this is one of those songs that's more in her lower mid register. She doesn't really go up into a higher register and like I said there's not any whistles in this song um so I've heard men sing this song before and it's always it always comes out so pretty I know his voice a little bit now but I still don't know what to expect from him and I'm really excited about this song so let's just jump into it before I just continue rambling about nonsense that this song is one of those songs and I've reacted to these before but there's really not a whole lot of place for you to be able to breathe <laughs> like the way the verses are it's very up and down I don't know how to explain it it's very up and down is how I'm going to describe it but you're you know the singer is you know sort of in this one spot and then there's kind of a lilt and then it goes back down and then it comes back up and then You'd think that somewhere in between all that, there, you'd think that there'd be a place to take a breath. But Miss Mariah Carey, Miss Vocal Queen, is not about just anyone being able to sing her song. She's got to make them as difficult as possible. And this is one of those songs. Because I remember trying to sing this song, even at my vocal best, when my breath control was like on point and everything, I could never, ever sing this song. I would have to like change the arrangement just just a hair kind of like how he did there was a there was a spot where he kind of cut it off a little early uh right before it goes into the chorus because it sort of just flows all together he cut it off just just a little bit just so he could take a breath because then once you get into that chorus mm -mm, game over he sang it like um because i've drowned in you and i won't pull through without you by my side i'd give my all and mariah there's no breath there it just it just all flows together like because i've drowned in you and i won't pull through without you by my side i'd give my <gasps> see i can't even do it it's it's too much but but he did a really good job you know at that part taking a small break to take a breath because that chorus demands a lot of breath control as well so Good job, dude. That's kind of, I think that's actually where I would breathe too whenever I'd be singing along with it in the car or I just wouldn't do that long riff there at the very end. I would just cut it off. Hey, baby, can you feel me? You 
reminds me I'm looking in your eyes I can see you pretty late and blazing in my mind And the earth so far like a distance of I wish you want tonight really pretty too so instead of making it all flowy and pretty he sort of broke it up instead of keeping it flowing he's saying it like i'm wishing on tonight like he it, instead of those notes flowing he made them very staccato and it works and it was just so pretty okay i think that's gonna be the last time i interrupt this song i'm sorry i just He's one of those singers that if i don't get in what i need to say right then and there it's gone by the end of the song so that's why i pause Sorry if you don't like it, but that's just how my brain works, <laughs> so. do that low note once he had to do it twice thank you thank you thank you that's one of my favorite parts of the song is when she just goes real low because you know me and my love of when female singers use their low register and mariah has a really pretty low register so i like that he did that run at the very end twice it was just extra i think i said all i wanted to say about his performance in general during my pauses but that was amazing that's like one of the best covers i think i've heard ever i know that nanoi pena has also covered the song and i have not reacted to it yet it is coming soon I'm not sure when but it is on my list um might have to be sooner rather than later after this um but i'm gonna wrap this video up so if you like these kinds of videos where i react to things and sometimes sing on this channel hopefully i didn't destroy your eardrums um, <laughs> then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So I had originally planned on reacting to a different video of his, uh, following, uh, my reaction to my all by Mariah Carey. I originally planned on reacting to the greatest love of all by Whitney Houston but i had so many people requesting that i react to this song i guess because it's new it's a new release from him so i decided to bump it and make it the next one um i am still gonna be reacting to his cover of the greatest love of all i'm actually planning another theme week month for january so i'm gonna have a more set week i'm gonna have a disney week and i'm gonna have another whitney houston week and i need another 
week theme. Should I do another Katrina Velarde week or another Booty Kill week or just just only do three weeks as a themed week because I don't know. My brain is kind of working overtime right now. But Mr. Gabriel Henrique, Mr. Sir, you look very serious in this opening of the video. But this is a very lovely song. And I'm going to assume he is doing the Mariah Carey rendition of I Want to Know What Love Is. This song is originally by Foreigner. Um, I have reacted to both Morissette and Katrina's versions of this song. I will put the cards up here. They will also be down in the description box. Um, but let's just see what Mr. Man has to offer us because he's super fantastic. So let's just jump into it. Take a little time A little time to think this over I'd better read between the lines In case I need it when I cold up hey. My life That has been hard and the pain I don't if I can face it again Can't stop now I'll be driving so far To chant this lonely life I wanna know what love is I want you to show I love his voice so much. He has such a beautiful falsetto. Most men, when they sing, they don't have this high part of their range. They just don't. So it's so nice when guys have like this huge range and they actually decide to use their high register. I guess if males do have the higher register, they don't use it. I don't know if they're just afraid of sounding like a girl. I don't really know. I don't really get it. I think if you have that big of a range, you need to showcase that. And Mr. Henrique does just that. You guys need to follow suit. I gonna take a little time A little time to look around me I've got nowhere left to hide It looks like love has finally found me Oh, I'm so pretty. Ooh. 
What is happening? Why am I getting all misty? There were a couple of those whistles. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Just won't stop. Okay. There were a couple of those whistle notes. I was like going like this. I wasn't sure if I was like, am I hearing that? Is that a whistle? Or it was like slightly out of my hearing range. Dude. Oh my gosh. Why am I so emotional? Why are tears coming out of my eyes over a whistle note? Oh my gosh. This is so silly. <laughs> oh, but that was so good. Oh, I love this cover so much. Now I don't know who my favorite is out of him, Katrina, or Morissette. I think Gabriel just knocked Morissette off my top. I think, I think Gabriel Henrique just, just won my number one spot for this song. That was so amazing. I figured he would do at least the one whistle, but then they just kept coming. And I think I just got like... My brain just would, couldn't handle it. It was just so many, so many whistles and they were so long and they were so high and just, whoo, Mr. Man. He's so crazy talented. I really don't understand how more people don't know who he is. He's really good. I really don't understand how there's not that. I really don't understand how more people don't know who he is. I really don't. He's, he's amazing. But I think I'm going to have to just like kind of come down for a second. So I'm just going to end this video here before I just start rambling. But, but yeah, so that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to the first video of 2022. Uh, I guess technically it's still 2021 when this video is going to go out. Um, but I was getting it requested like left and right and I didn't want to post it during Christmas so I thought I would post it as like a New Year's Eve type of video. It's not New Year's Eve related, obviously. Uh, but Gabriel Henrique released a video with Jade Salas, I think is how you say her last name. Uh, it's a cover of Endless Love, which, you know, was originally done by Lionel Richie and Diana Ross and was later covered by Luther Vandross with Mariah Carey. So I'm not sure if they'll be, you know, doing the original arrangement or if they'll be doing the Mariah Carey, Luther Vandross arrangement. The title says Mariah Carey and Luther Vandross, so maybe that's what they'll be doing. I don't know. This is a song that I know very well. I know both arrangements. Um... Of course, with this version, if they're doing the Mariah version, there's certain little vocal thingies that she does that I just think are really pretty that aren't in the original. Uh, but anyway, I've never heard this Jade girl sing before, so I don't know what she sounds like. And so obviously I don't know what they'd sound like together, so I'm curious about those two things. And besides uh, him singing with Pedro Henrique, uh, which some of you were telling me is his brother, some saying it was like a cousin, and some saying it was his best friend, so I'm not sure if they're related at all, but that's the only time I've seen him sing with somebody else. So this is a new one. Uh, I wanted to post it as soon as possible, and Fridays are my feature Friday where I feature a new artist. This is why this is being posted on a Friday and why it's still technically being posted in 2021 instead of 2022. But if you like my Gabriel Henrique videos, you are in luck because the entire first week of January starting well, I mean, tomorrow is January 1st, but going all through January 9th is nothing but Gabriel Henrique reactions. I'll have my t regular Tuesdays with Maury where I react to Morissette, and I plan on throwing in um, a throwback Thursday of Mariah Carey's Vanishing because I plan on posting his cover of Emotions on that day, so it's kind of like a Mariah Carey twofer. But also for Tuesdays with Maury, I plan on uploading her version of Oceans the same day that I post Gabriel Henrique's cover of Oceans in English. I've reacted to his version of Oceans with Pedro Henrique uh, while they're singing it in Portuguese, and I loved it. So if you want to see that, it's up here. Uh, but I've talked way too long, so let's just jump into the reaction. My love. 
Oh, multi-camera. There's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. Mm. My first love. Yeah, yeah. Your every breath that I take. Your every step I make. I like her. Real quick, I know that he doesn't speak English very well, but compared to like the videos that I've seen of him that are clearly older, uh, his English pronunciation in this video is a lot more clear. Like I could always understand what he was singing, but something I noticed that when he sings words that end in G, he ends it like with a K sound. So like on the line, the only thing that's right, it sounded like the only think that's right. Just just a little bit. It's a very subtle thing that I'm hearing when he does that, but his pronunciation is is a lot better. So I don't know if y'all if he's taking like any kind of English lessons or if he's just practicing, but his pronunciation is really, really good. And I really like her. And I can hear like the Mariah Carey thing that she's that you know is in the arrangement but she's not trying to sound like her which is so refreshing because a lot of times when people cover Mariah Carey songs or songs in the style of Mariah Carey they try to do every little lilt and run and riff and everything just like her and it's very predictable and while it is impressive I'd rather hear something different and and whatnot but that's just me. So, jumping back into it. Your eyes, your eyes, your eyes, they tell me how much you care. I like the multi camera thing. She opens her mouth really wide too to get, you know, sounds out, which is typical. Two hearts, two hearts that beat as one, our lives have just begun. And forever, forever, I hold you close in my arms. I can't. No, 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 no. no, no, no. And love, I'll be a fool for you. Ooh, that was so nice. You know I don't mind. Oh, love, baby, you. Baby, 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 baby. You mean this? Yeah, opening the mouth really big like she's doing is something that is something that kind of gives it away that she's classically trained. Or at least a choir. Is so amazing. Don't let you know I don't mind. Yeah. 
so good I have wow but I was not expecting him to whistle I saw someone in one of the comments of uh, I think it's run to you uh, yeah I'm pretty sure because I said in that video that I didn't know he could whistle and no one told me that and they left a comment saying that it's more fun to see the reaction of people whenever they hear him whistle for the first time when they don't know that that's something he can do so thanks again for <laughs> not letting me know that he's going to whistle in this one because it just, it threw me off. I didn't think it was going to happen. And then he just decides to throw in a whistle for no reason. And he's obviously, he's singing the Luther Vandross part and she's singing the Mariah Carey part. So in a way, I guess it makes sense that he would put in a whistle, but at the same time, not so much. But I like how they sound together. They sounded really, really good. I really like her. She might have to make an appearance on this channel like solo at some point. I have like this ongoing uh, playlist of Brazilian artists that I need to react to. And the month of January, I am planning on doing like themed weeks. So back in August, I did this because I have so many reaction requests for certain artists that if I were to post, you know, one or two videos a week of this of a particular artist to get through that list, I would still be reacting to them almost, you know, forever. So what I ended up doing in August was I created these things called theme weeks. So I had a Morissette theme week, I had a Katrina Velarde theme week, Buddha Kill. Whitney Houston. It started off as a, I was only going to do a Whitney Houston theme week because there's a lot of uh, artists that cover Whitney Houston songs that I was getting. Uh, you should listen to so-and-so cover Whitney Houston singing this. So I ended up having a Whitney Houston cover theme week and then I posted a video of Whitney Houston and I decided to do it in August because her birthday is August 9th. Uh, but I decided to have another theme week month. So this first week is Gabriel Henrique. I just had today and tomorrow is kind of like bonus videos. Uh, but starting Sunday is technically Gabriel Henrique week. And all, all the Sundays are still going to be Gabriel Henrique videos. It's just Monday through Saturday will be, you know, whoever I'm reacting to. First week is going to be Gabriel Henrique. The second week is going to be um, Morissette. So she released her EP signature and I was getting requests to react to her th the live performances that she's released but she's been releasing them like one at a time like very slowly and I wanted to react to them but I sort of wanted to do it all in one sitting so that's basically what her week is going to be and then the next week is going to be another Whitney Houston theme week I'm going to try to filter in actual Whitney Houston performances so I do have some like figured out what I'm going to do um but I also have some covers. So I have like a feature Friday. I do plan on finally reacting to Glennis Grace singing Run To You. And I plan on reacting to So Hyang singing I Have Nothing. And of course Gabriel Henrique is in there a couple times because obviously. And then the final week, just for fun, I wanted to do a Disney themed week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my feature Friday for Disney themed week, but we'll see what happens when I get there. <laughs> Um, but that's been it for this video. I don't know what is going on with my hair there. But, okay. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to some more Gabriel Henrique. This is his cover of Mariah Carey's Emotions big big song so there's like this high 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 whistle register note i'm pretty sure it's a is it a b7 emotions high note i always forget what it is uh it ranges from a c3 to an e7 so i'm assuming that that high whistle register note is a e7 not sure but I'm pretty sure it is because that's the highest part of the song. It's ridiculous. 
Ridiculous. I've never been able to hit that note. I don't think there's very many people who can hit that note. I've tried many, many times. I've come close. I've come close. I think I've been off like a couple octaves, <laughs> but I've come close to hitting it, but not, no. There's no way I'm ever gonna hit that note. It's too damn high for me. There's some people who have been able to hit that note and it's just like surprising. I am fairly certain he's gonna have like no issues with this song. It's a big song, but homeboy can handle it. So let's just, <sighs> okay. Mentally preparing myself, let's go. Dramatic zoom out. Oh, it's the unplugged version. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. I like that. a fast run. So clean. Oh, oh, oh baby. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. 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 wasn't gonna have any problems with the song but still it was still like impressive hearing I don't know how to explain it it just was there were a couple parts of the 
there were a couple parts when the whistle came up that it sounded like he was having a little bit of trouble. And I don't blame him because this song is hard as hell for a woman to sing, let alone a guy. But he, oh man, he did really good. And this song's one of my happy songs, obviously. I was like dancing around the whole time and just having a lot of fun. But I never really paid attention to the style of the music. Like it was, to me, it's always been pop sounding. But just hearing the way Gabriel was singing it and like paying attention, because I know he's a gospel singer. This song has a very gospel undertone that I never really noticed before. So there's that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh huh. No critiques here from me. No, sir. Mm -mm. That was very impressive. And I like the multicam. He doesn't do that in all of his videos. The first time I saw that in one of my videos was his uh, was my reaction to him and Jade singing um, Endless Low. I was like, oh, multicam. So I never really noticed that he did that before. I don't think he's done that in the other videos that I've reacted to. It's just been him, a camera, and done. I guess I just like seeing people from different angles and not just, I know I have just a single camera, so I'm not trying to, I don't know what I'm trying to say because I have a, just a single camera, but it is just me. I don't have like a team or whatever. It's just me who's doing these videos. But when there's like a performance or something going on, for some reason I like the multicam. I don't know. Maybe it gives me the feeling like that I'm there. I don't know what the, what it is. I just, I just like it. I just think it's fun. But I think I'm going to end this video here. So that has been it for this video. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and sometimes just talk about whatever I want to, uh, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So... We are back with another Gabriel Henrique song, and this time it's him covering Mariah Carey yet again. This song has pretty much been uh, a request since day one of me reacting to him almost, you know, five, six months ago, I think. I don't remember when I first reacted to him. When was that? It was July 1st is when I first reacted to Gabriel Henrique. So yeah, about six months ago when I first reacted to him. Maybe seven, considering I like to film in bulk. I'm not sure when I actually recorded that song, but it officially went out on July first of last year um and i'm pretty i'm fairly certain i've been getting this request ever since but it's a mariah carey song it is vision of love which was her first single ever so i think for this song i need to put my hair up because i think stuff is about to get serious and let's see let me just, just put my hair up real fast i don't want to use i don't want to put my hair up in a ponytail it looks like a hot mess today i don't know what's going on with my hair so this is from May of 2020, so I'm a little late to the party of listening to this song, but I'm a little late to the Gabriel Henrique party anyway, so I have a lot of catching up to do. But we're just going to jump into this reaction because I know he can whistle, I know he's going to look serious, but I also know I'm going to be amazed. So, let's just jump into it. That's waiting for me It took so long Still I believe Somehow the one that I needed Who found me and then to believe I had a vision of love And me was all that you gave it to me So alone, so free for any nation. Can't do the weight on my own. Had to be strong. Mm, I love that love. So I believe. Ain't no 
I know I'm succeeding You finding a place I can serve I had a vision with love And it was all that you gave it to me I had a vision with love And it was all that you gave it me I realized the dream The heaven has sent down to me The tree to me cry Sweet destiny yeah. oh, 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 oh. Pray to the night So faithfully yeah. So faithfully whistles my goodness sir so many whistles started off with the whistle ended with the whistle put in whistles in between because it's a Mariah Carey song they have to be there man he hit every riff like it was nothing because it's Gabriel he knows what he's doing he's a master that was just I don't know why I always say that. That was just, and then I pause. Like, I'm going to come up with some synonym that I haven't used yet. <sighs> that was, oh, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. So in the last video, I said my two favorites to listen to him sing were gospel and Whitney Houston songs. I got to throw in the Mariah Carey songs in there as well. Because homeboy, he nails those songs every time with no problem whatsoever. I think he's amazing. He'd be fun to sing with. I'm just saying. Like, I, I try not to sing along whenever I'm reacting to songs I know, but I can't help it. Especially that song. That song's just really fun to sing. A lot of Mariah Carey songs are basically a bunch of riffs. And if you take the riffs out, it's kind of boring. Like, to sing, not to listen to, and the words, and all that's not boring. But, like, to try to sing a Mariah Carey song without the riffs and the runs and stuff is kind of like, mm, meh. So... Mm, try not to sing along with Mariah Carey songs, especially like that one and some of her older music. Real hard for me. <laughs> so I do turn myself down though, so y'all don't have to listen to me singing along with him. So it's just, it looks like I'm singing to myself like, but I'm really singing over here by myself. I just turn myself down so you don't have to hear me all the time. But I, mm-hmm. I could listen to him sing Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston all day long. I think he has enough, almost, I think he almost has enough songs that I can do that. <laughs> but, um, I think I'm gonna have to end this video here. It's kind of a short one. I just, I have, I don't have anything constructive to say. It's nothing that I haven't said before. He's just amazing. I would love, let's see. I'm trying to think of an older Mariah Carey song that I would like for him to sing. So, let's see. I, I, I threw out there uh, during, I'm going to try to say it again, O ex, Extraordinario, did I, I think I said that right, I, I'm probably saying it completely wrong, or I have a really bad accent and I can't say it correctly, but I said in that video that I would love to hear him sing Celine Dion's I Surrender, if he hasn't already, if he hasn't already, uh, I would love to hear him sing that, uh, but as far as like old Mariah songs, Let's see, he's done my all. I'm trying to think, what's something? I'm 
I'm just, uh, trying to think. Someday would be a good song for him to do. Let's see. Let's see if he's done that one yet. Cause I'll look for my I Surrender too. Cause those two songs would be amazing. Gabriel Henry Gay. Whoop, I cannot type. What's wrong with me? Okay, someday is not coming up. I surrender. Please tell me he's done. I surrender. No. What? He hasn't done. I surrender. Okay, those two songs, "Someday" by Mariah Carey and "I Surrender" by Celine Dion, those need to happen at some point. So, Mr. Henrique, I don't think you'll see my channel, but if you do, those are my two requests, please. "I Surrender." and Someday. Those are the two songs I would love to hear him sing. But I think I'm gonna end this video here because I'm just gonna start saying other songs that he should do and I'll just, it'll just be a whole other video in itself of songs I think Gabriel should sing. Ooh, maybe I should do that video. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna end this video here. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and ramble and go way off topic sometimes, then please consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to another reaction video of Mr. Gabriel Henrique. I am planning on this going out as a Sunday video, as a regular Sunday video. Hopefully that's still the case. If you're seeing this earlier, congratulations, it's a bonus. <laughs> if it's later, sorry I got behind. Just covering all my bases because this, this last week was just weird. This one's been requested um, since it came out, basically. Most of the time when I see that he's uploaded, because I do, I, I am subscribed to his channel, so I get alerts whenever he posts. But basically, anytime he uploads and I get a notification of, hey, Gabriel Henrique has a new video. It's called blah, 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 blah. I go ahead and add it to my list, and then I just wait <laughs> to see if I get requests for it. And this one, I've been getting requested, like, within the couple hours of it going live. So, <laughs> again, going back to what I mentioned, what I said in my last video of his, I got behind in my filming because my daughter stabbed me in the eye and cut my cornea. <laughs> it's a lot better now. It does feel a little funny sometimes if I blink, but it's not scratched anymore. I think it's just a little scar tissue, which hopefully it goes away because that's gonna be annoying if I have to have this weird feeling in my eye. This is his cover of I Still Believe. I am guessing he's doing the Mariah Carey arrangement because it says Mariah Carey. This was originally done by Brenda K. Starr, who Mariah Carey sang backup for like way back in the day. If you're a fan of Mariah Carey, or even if you're not a fan of Mariah Carey, her book, the meaning of Mariah is actually really, really good. I wasn't expecting too much about her life and stuff that's not already known, but she spills so much tea in that book as far as like with her marriage to Tommy Mottola and how she grew up and some stuff with her siblings. And it's just, whew, it's a roller coaster. But there is an audiobook version of it if you don't like to physically, like if you don't like to literally read a book, if you want to just listen to her talk. And I think I might have a link where you can get a free book. If I do, I'll put it down in there. It's not sponsored by them. It just might give me a little commission or something. I'm, I'm not really sure. We're going to react to him singing I Still Believe. Super, super excited. I always love when he sings Mariah Carey. So I'm just going to stop talking. We're going to jump into this right now.
fine You know that I I'm not too desperate I'm That was always my favorite part You know that I I'm not the desperate I I don't know why I like that riff so much. It's just so pretty. I think it's because it starts here and then goes down and then comes back up and it's all riffy and just fun. I just really like it. Okay, I feel, I feel much better now. Another thing that crossed my mind while I was listening to the rest of that song is Gabriel might also be pre-recording these songs, and again, I couldn't care less either way, but I'm also wondering if he's doing that so he can make sure that he's pronouncing everything more clearly, because I know he, you know, started off not speaking English. I suspected he might be taking some sort of like English lessons because his pronunciation is a lot better. Um, not that I never misunderstood him. I'm just making a, I'm just, you know, making a statement. But I'm wondering if he does pre-record these songs. I'm wondering if he, you know, takes his time doing so to make sure that he's pronouncing the words correctly. Maybe. Maybe that's the reason why he does it. Don't know. We'll never know. And I'm not going to ask him, hey, do you pre-record your songs? Because that's rude. It's none of my business if he pre-records his songs or not. Things got a little heated back there. My Italian-Norwegian combination got a little mixed and I got a little pissed. <laughs> but uh, I usually don't get like that. I just, I've dealt with this person before and I just, I'm just, I'm just done. I've never banned anybody from my channel from commenting, but ooh, there's a start for everything. But I, I loved, I loved all the riffs and the belts and then that pretty whistle at the end. Oh, it was so nice. I love when he sings Mariah Carey. Love when he sings Mariah Carey. I had another song idea for him to do, but I don't remember what it is because I think my brain overloaded. But I think I might have to make a video soon of songs that I think Gabriel Henrique should cover because I just have so many. And maybe he'll see it and, <laughs> and take note. But I think I'm going to end this video here. Sorry, I got a little passionate there defending Gabriel Henrique, but 
I'm sure his fans will appreciate it. But I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for stopping by and watching and listening to me rant. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and I swear I don't get that passionate about every video, but I do sometimes, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! everyone welcome back so originally I was not gonna post again until um, well the 18th is really when I start posting consecutively I was still gonna be posting on Sundays for Gabriel and I was gonna try to do videos for Morissette but I'm not sure how well that's working out yet as of right now today is the 7th <sighs> anyway so I originally wasn't gonna be posting again until the 18th is when I was like coming back or whatever and I'm reacting to nothing but new artists that week and then I'll figure it out after that but there's gonna be a hair length discrepancy <laughs> so I originally wasn't gonna post again until the 10th which is when my reaction to my heart will go on is gonna go out which is tomorrow I'm like I'm gonna post this on Saturday I just decided it's gonna go out on Saturday and so I, um, my hair's long until the 22nd whenever I I was thinking I was making my short hair debut, but my short hair debut is is now. So, on the 22nd, I'm posting a video and I am explaining that my hair is gone, but by the time you see that video, and if you've seen this one, you, you already know that. Basically what had happened was, I don't know if it's postpartum hair loss or if it's just stress or what it is, but... Um, I was losing my hair like a lot like every time I would shower or just wash my hair in the sink I was losing clumps and clumps of hair it was getting stuck to my arms and my legs and so getting all the hair off of me was just making my showers take too long and it was just it just felt icky having hair just like on me and I just was I was just sick of it I was just sick of it so I texted my husband I said I am this close to getting the clippers and buzzing my head. I was gonna be bald, I did not care. I was just so over all the hair all over the place. And he goes, why don't you just schedule for a haircut? And I was like, okay. So I went and got my haircut. So all of it's gone. And something that's really nice because I was actually just gonna ask them to cut off um, just the part of my hair that had hair dye on it, like old hair dye from like 2019, I think is the last time I dyed my hair. And if I did that, my hair is going to be like to here. But then I found like a cute pixie cut. Like a, not a pixie. It's not a pixie pixie cut. It's like a, just a short. It's just like a bob. I don't know how to explain what my hair is. But um, I showed the lady a picture. I said, this is what I want. And she goes, I got you. She cut my hair. She styled it. Made me look super fabulous. But I'm saying all of that to say this. In those first couple of videos with, with my hair uh, short, I look a hot mess because I was trying to figure out what to do with it. In the first video, I tried to curl my hair with a flat iron and it just didn't work out. It just it just looks really weird, so ignore it. Um, I also mentioned in another video that I had straightened my hair another day and I looked like Colette from Ratatouille and that's not a joke. I looked, <laughs> I, th I think I look just like Colette from Ratatouille. Uh, when my hair is, is straight, my hair is very, sh it's just very sharp. It's just sharply cut and then it's 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 straight and I just I look like Colette from Ratatouille so I don't know if I'll be straightening my hair for these videos I'll probably be rocking this curly hair look so that's that's the look for now is this is this curly curly mess but in today's video I am so excited because I love when Gabriel covers Mariah Carey so I just saw that he posted Love Takes Time. This was posted literally just a few hours ago. I'm usually not this fast when he posts videos. Like usually, I mean the video is not gonna be going up immediately. It's it's still gonna be a couple days. I still need to get this edited and translated and everything else. So, but as far as like me sitting down to record a video, I'm never this fast when he posts a new video. So very proud of myself. But it's him singing Love Takes Time. It's a very short video. It's only two and a half minutes long, but I'm really excited. I noticed in, um, I haven't watched it yet because I don't know the song, but in uh, his previous upload, the Jennifer Hudson cover, he has a new background and he has different lights depending on, you know, just whatever he decides to do. So, but I noticed he's recording in a different background. So that's, that's fun. I like it when he changes it up a bit, but we're just gonna jump into this reaction right now. Oh, hey, 
let it all It was so pretty. Now wander around, freely until we go. He's a little bit more rasp when he sings lately. I love it. short and sweet and to the point. I kind of like that he cut out the second verse. I don't even remember what the second verse consists of. I don't know why I like that he decided to cut out the second verse and make it shorter. I just do. It was nice. I liked it. I didn't know if he was, I figured he'd do a whistle because it, you know, it's Mariah Carey. It's a Mariah Carey song. And I had a feeling where he would put it on the word inside, but I didn't know how he would do it. I thought he was just going to go inside and go up into a whistle but he like kind of paused and then went up and then he did these like staccato notes up there and I'm like ah! I just, just like I just liked it but I'm trying to think if I reacted to any any other songs where he's cut out verses I don't think I have I don't know if this is something new that he's doing or if it was just a one-time thing I don't know but I I just I really liked it I just, I just love when he sings Mariah Carey songs. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world. Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. Like the big divas basically is what I love when he sings. But I'm gonna end this video here. So that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to another video of Gabriel Henrique singing in his car, or his cartoons, as I'm calling this. I thought it was funny. Anyway, so I, I have reacted to him singing I Have Nothing, also while sitting in his car. And my goodness, Mr. Sir. I mentioned in that video that I think he might be posting these videos where he's singing in his car because it's pretty obvious that it's one take. There's no way that this is pre-recorded like some people speculate his videos are, which even if they were, there's a whole other video where I, I, I go off on that. I had this one person uh, constantly leaving me messages that Gabriel pre-records his videos and I told him that I did not think that that was the case, but even if it was, I really didn't give a damn. Um, so anyway, I think he's posting these videos because so many people think that and even him going on TikTok singing snippets of songs he's covered live, like right then and there, even even if he does those people still are speculating that, oh no, it's not him, there's no way. And I'm like, Arr! so anyway, I think that might be why he's doing this. Otherwise, or it could just be him doing it for fun. 
I really don't know. Um, but I will say that the acoustics in a car are really good. Just saying. Anyway, this is my second video of him singing in, in the car. Um, I'm calling these his car tunes because <laughs> I think that's funny and I'm a sucker for a good pun. So anyway, uh, this is Gabriel singing I Wanna Know What Love Is, which you know was originally by Foreigner, covered by Mariah Carey. He does it in the style of Mariah Carey because, duh. So anyway, we're just gonna jump into it. Mr. Sir, smiling, you know what you did. <laughs> smiling like that at the end of the video. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know why he's smiling. He's like, oh yeah, look what I just did. <laughs> okay, so not that much to unpack because I've reacted to this song before. But again, even though that video is just, you know, what, like six, seven months old ish, somewhere in there. I'm not really sure. I know it's been at least six months. There's still a, a difference in, in vocal performance there. It still sounded a lot more raspy and gritty and just grrr. And I really like it. Because it makes it sound like there's real heartache and pain behind it. Which maybe there is like I've mentioned. I just am speculating. I don't know anything about his love life. But mm, sir. That part where he says there's been heartache and pain. I said yes there has been. Because I can hear it in your voice Mr. Sir. I love the acoustics in a car. 
it just sounds really good. I mean, just, just singing in the car, you know, if you're not driving, because road noise is annoying, but like when I, okay, back in the day of MySpace, I had a page like as a singer when I was trying to be a singer and I didn't have anywhere really to record. We had, it there, there was like a recording studio in town, but it's like, it was really, really small. Um, and so I would either go into the garage or I would go in my car and drive into the middle of nowhere and just sing because I didn't want people to be staring at me. <laughs> but those were the two places I would go. I would go either into our garage where it was, you know, quiet or I would go into my car. And the car has really good acoustics, especially if you're belting like this. It's, I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it, but acoustics in the car when you're singing, excellent. But I, I like these little videos he's doing. I'm calling them his cartoons because, again, I just think it's funny. But I really don't know what else to say about this one except that, sir. I'm pretty sure he hit way more whistle notes in this video than in his other video, which is totally fine with me. Um, but I think I'm going to have to end this video here. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to Mr. Gabriel Henrique. It's him singing One Sweet Day, which was by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men. It was on the Daydream soundtrack. I believe it was track number two, three, three. Let me look. Yeah, track three. Go me. Open arms of track two. I always get those two switched in my head for some reason. This is one of those songs that, depending on my mood, whenever I listen to it, it can make me cry. I have reacted to this song on my channel before with Katrina Velarde and Budakil. I'll put a card up here if you want to see that. I share the story there, but I'll put it in this video as well if you don't want to go and watch me react to the same song twice. I'll just tell it now. Maybe it gives perspective. I don't know. But my distinct memory with this song is when I was in about, I think I was in seventh grade, seventh or eighth grade, and my mom and I were on vacation in Florida. And we were driving around, I think we were going to get lunch or something, and it was raining because, you know, it's Florida. And it wasn't, was it Rick D's Weekly Top 40 or Casey Kasem? It was one of those two uh, where they do like a Top 40 countdown, but in between they also take requests. And they can dedicate the song to people or just, you know, request it in general. And this one girl calls in, she was about my age, she was like 8th or ninth grade. And she said I'm, that she asked to have this song played, and and so of course they're going to ask, you know, well, why do you want to dedicate such a sad song to you know this person? And it was their science teacher, and he had passed away at the end of the school year, and that was just so sad. And I was listening to the words, and I was like, this is the most sad song I think I've ever heard. And around the same time, I was about thirteen. Yeah, I was about thirteen. I think I was like thirteen. We were also in the middle of losing like a bunch of people like they were dying I'm not joking <laughs> they were dying left and right um, my papa died in August of 2000 and then my Nana passed away f uh, from complications due to Alzheimer's in 2003 I made a video all about her if you want to listen to it it's up here there's translations and everything available so you can go watch that um, and in between we just lost like a bunch of aunts uncles friends it was just a mess and so hearing that song at that particular time was really hard because I had heard the song before but I never really paid attention you know so sometimes it depends on my mood sometimes this song makes me cry other times not so much I just thought I would give y'all a heads up like if I just start boohooing you know that's why <laughs> I have a very particular memory tied to this song so anyway that was a really long intro Let's just jump into it.
to see And now it's too late to harm you As you've run away So far away face didn't you know react very much but I was you know just thinking about everyone that you know has passed on which is what that song is supposed to do but that's oh sir let's talk about this for a second so that song is originally by Mariah Carey and Boys to Men who makes who at the time I believe made up of four people now it's three so he's singing <laughs> he's singing a song that is originally intended for at least three solo artists because you know there's others there's others who are are primarily harmonies um he, he he's singing a song that is you know main made i'm 
I'm starting to get tongue tied because I'm just I'm trying to get the words out because it's just so I, I'm just flabbergasted. He's singing a song intended for at least three soloists. That's really hard. Like finding where to overlap. If you're singing a song made for even two artists, trying to find out where you where the overlap is of you know singing person A's part coming into person B's part is difficult enough. Trying to do that with three people, mm -mm. that's hard. Like in trying to get all the words in where it makes sense, that's hard. I noticed that a couple times he oh, he left out some phrases, which is totally fine. The song still makes sense, but you have to give yourself the ability to take a break and breathe. But trying to sing three people's parts as one person is, and and you know, get as much of the, and still get uh, all, all. I can't talk. I can't talk. It's hard. You know, I've tried singing this song, you know, by myself, and there's parts of it, you know, it, it's really easy, you know, to just sing along, but he's also, like, trying to match the pitches of the artists, like, of, of the two soloists of Boys to Men and Mariah Carey, so it's pretty obvious where, where Mariah Carey sings versus where the soloists for Boys to Men sing. I, I don't really care about that. I still think it's awesome how he just comes in, he can, and he sings in those lower, lower notes, like, he doesn't really do that that much, but... Getting to hear him sing in a lower register, ooh, I love it so much. But I think I'm going to end this video here. So that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video... I am finally getting around to some newer content. Um, the video that is going to be going out on Sunday, I recorded a few weeks back. Um, but I just, I don't know. I got in one of those moods where I didn't feel like editing it. Like it just sat there for like about a week. And then yesterday, let's see what's today, the 14th? I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. It's going to go out before Sunday. That's all I know. Uh, yesterday, I decided to do like a live stream of all of the reactions that I've done of Gabriel so far. I realized about three hours into it that I forgot to add in uh, Stone Cold and his duet with Jade Solace of Endless Love. And I wanted to keep it in chronological order, and so it was too late for me to add those back in. So uh if i do another live stream like i i put in the in the chat that i'm i thought about making two separate live streams uh eventually like later not right now because i just did one but um after i react to more of his stuff uh, i'm planning on reacting to more of his gospel music and so i'm wanting to make like a pop playlist i'm wanting to make like a pop stream and then a gospel stream and i'll put those two missing videos in that one and I think I had to cut it off early because it was also like getting really choppy and laggy I don't know what was going on there but anyway so the last like two or three videos of mine I don't think got out but I'm not really sure it's still processing and everything so but today is like a bonus video for you guys because y'all have been extremely patient and extremely supportive in me needing to take a break uh, for those of you who don't know I will put a card up here but I've been having some health issues I guess um, I'm fine I'm pretty sure but I just haven't felt very good and I've had this like chronic sinus infection apparently even though I feel completely fine um, started off with the migraine this is all back in May which it's all covered in that video but it started off with the migraine uh, I went and saw my primary doctor he got me an order to get an MRI the MRI came back that I had uh, moderate to severe left sphenoid inflammation or infection and so somewhere on the MRI they could see some infection I was like well I felt completely fine so if I felt fine when it was severe like when I'm feeling bad like I don't know it's just a big mess and so from there I went and saw a neurologist and he was really nice but he wasn't sure if um if he could do anything for me. He said that because of where it was located, which was dead center of my head, 
and because of what the MRI showed, he said you should probably go see an ENT. So I went and saw an ENT. And, um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a ear, nose, and throat doctor. Um, I think they're called like odontologists or something, but uh, they specialize in like diseases and of the ears, nose, and throats, and cancers, and things like that. So he sent me to a specialist. That guy was super nice. That was the fastest appointment I've ever been into. <laughs> I got in there, signed in, sat down, and as soon as I sat down, he called He called me back, not a nurse. The doctor called me back, um, asked me some questions. I gave him the rundown of what happened, and I was in and out in like 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, and he wanted to treat me aggressively, so he gave me an antibiotic and a steroid pack and no spray. So I've been doing that. Today is my last day of the antibiotic. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, so I'm, oh, I'm done. I'll be done with that uh, today. And then I follow up with him next week. So I'm still a little sniffly. I still have drainage. I still have headaches. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm probably fine, but I just, sometimes I just end up not feeling good and I don't want to record. I don't want to edit. I don't want to do anything. Um, like this is the minimal makeup that I do for my videos. I'll do my eyebrows and I'll do something with my eyes because otherwise I just look a little funny. I think I look a little funny. So I, I do want to have like some makeup done and I do want to feel sort of pretty because I mean I don't want to just you know come on here with my hair looking like a hot mess. I mean it looks a little like a hot mess today. I had to use some dry shampoo because it's at that weird length now like it was up here and it was really easy to style. Now it's growing out and it's starting to get to that weird length like I don't know what to do with it. So I think it looks fine today, but in the next time I decide to sit down and film, who knows. That was a really long intro, but I just wanted to give y'all a small update of what's happening. But um, you guys were super nice in the chat. Uh, there were a few of you uh, that I ended up talking to quite a bit. Uh, y'all are awesome. I love all of my subscribers. Y'all are like the most loyal, patient people ever. A lot of y'all were asking me to react to the new Gabriel video, which I will get to eventually, but I, I've been getting this requested. Uh, obviously since it came out, but it's his cover of Lead the Way by Mariah Carey. Okay, this song, if you've ever seen, there's a clip of her when she was recording this song. It's from the album Glitter, and the, it's also the movie soundtrack, and that movie is severely underrated. It's, it's, it's actually really good. Like, I, I'm, I'm one of those people, like, I'm a little in eh, when singers think that they can act, but I actually liked Glitter. Oh, I mean, yeah, it was a little cheesy, of course, but I I liked it. The story was good. The music was good. Like, I don't know. I don't know why Glitter gets such a bad rap. I don't, I really don't. The backlight wasn't working on my keyboard. There's a, vi there's a video of her where she was recording uh, this song, and it's like that, that, y'all know the part. It's where she holds out that long note for, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous note, and it's in full voice. So if you sing in like your head voice, you know, way up here, it's a lot easier to, you know, hold out notes for a really, really long time than if you're doing in full voice, because that requires a lot more oomph and control and breath and everything. And it's just, it's always a lot harder to sing in full voice, which is why this song is so hard. Also Mariah Carey, it's not like she's going to make her song super easy to begin with. <laughs> but I see that Gabriel is outside. He is not like in his living room or wherever he normally records. Um, this is interesting. I'm really not sure. I, I don't know, but I see his earpieces in. Um, I'm not sure where he is exactly, as far as like what town he's is in the background. So I'm curious about that. Y'all know me, I like to know, you know, where stuff is and I love buildings and architecture and just everything like that. So anyway, if y'all can tell me what's in the background, like what city is in the background. I don't want to assume and say Rio because I don't know. <laughs> that's, I don't know. Um, but that's the only like big city that I know. I mean, there's a few others. I just don't know how to say them. <laughs> but Rio de Janeiro is the only one that I know of that's, you know, a big city that I can say. <laughs> I've been talking for almost nine minutes and I haven't even gotten into the video yet. So we're going to jump into the reaction right now. It's really 
hard for me to not sing along with this song. I like it. It's so pretty. I love when he sings in his head voice. It sounds so pretty. second belt that is not that is not easy that 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 mm, that is hard oh my gosh sir I mean y'all know y'all know I love Gabriel there's really nothing he can't do vocally I'm just like a little stunned right now <laughs> that was so good like all of his riffs and like where he's going from like his chest voice to his head voice and like those little lilts that he did. Oh, they were so pretty. And Mr. Man, I knew that whistle was coming, but I wasn't sure if he was going to do all the little thingies or if he was just going to hold out a sustained note. That part I, I didn't know. So he, the way he, he hit that note. What is, I don't know what that note is. That note is really high, but he did all those little riffs in the whistle. That's just crazy. Like, I don't have any doubts when it comes to whistles that he can't do things, but he's so good. But I love that. That was just so pretty, sir. I don't know what else to say except, except wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I like that. I like these video. I like that he did this outside and like changed up the scenery a little bit. I mean, not that I don't like his, you know, wall with the pretty lights and everything. I mean, I would love to switch up my background <laughs> at some point so y'all can look at something more than just this china hutch of stuff. We have all kinds of things in there. 
the top shelf has some actual china. There's some little thingies in there from I won a baby contest. My trophy is in there and my little crown that I got when I was six months old. Um, some Japanese things are in there like a sake, sake, some sake cups and a little pitcher. Let's see what else is in there. <laughs> Uh, oh, um, Aaron's grandfather's mortar and pestle. He was a surgeon. He's from Finland. He, his mom is from Finland and his, and her dad was a surgeon. And so we have his mortar and pestle, which is kind of fun. And I'm a pharmacy tech, so it's also kind of fun for me. But yeah, there's all kinds of stuff back there, but I would love to switch up my background. So I, maybe he got bored with changing the lights or something. I don't, I don't know, but I, 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 I always liked that background. I was curious how he would always change it up, but I do like him being outside and just being, you know, just out. So maybe that's why he did it. I don't know. I'm just speculating and I'm starting to ramble and I'm sitting here at 16 minutes. I need to stop talking. So I guess I'll end this video here. So that's been it for this video. If you like these kinds of videos where I react to things and talk about just whatever's on my mind, then please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!